So, unboxing video today, or un pallet wrapping. So, this is a guitar that people have been asking me to check out. It's Revelation. with a student gig bag. I don't know if it's padded on the course so. No, it's just a basic bag. So double wrap away. So there you go, that's the box it comes in, Revelation. RVJT. So from the shop it's not been opened, so this is uh, comes shipped from China. Uh, yeah, so I bought this from Allegro Music. Um, they were offering 10% off, so I think I got it for about £215. Not in the much of packaging inside. So get your Two Allen keys, one for the truss rod, one for the saddles and a tremolo arm. Machine gilts around the box. So there we go. There she is. In purple. So this was made September 30th, 2017. Custom end whistle pickle pickups. So, first impressions. Uh, there's no flaws in the paintwork that I can see. It's got the matching headstock there. So, a quick close up there. Looks like the saddles are going to need a bit of um, tweaking. But it's got a glossy neck skunk stripe by Alan Entwistle. Got a little squiggle on the back there. So it's got a maple neck with a rosewood fingerboard, 22 frets, purloid block inlays. It's got vintage style tuners there, which I kind of dig. So be interesting to see how good these ones are. They look pretty much similar to ones you get on squares. Uh, the screws look like they're a bit loose, so they need tightening up. So that's your five way, I forgot what they call these. Uh, ears. Yes, yeah, so that's the ATN5 selector. So it's quickly, it's got five positions. So number one, which is down there, is disengage it, so that's off. Number two is vintage slash surf rock. Number three is country slash rock. Number four, blues slash rock. And number five is jazz. So you've got the ATM5 along with your freeway selector switch. So I was wondering if you can get different sounds with these on and off. But if you switch it off, I guess it's just your standard freeway, neck, middle, bridge, master volume, master tone. Um, Controls feel really stiff on this, but that's probably a, a good thing. Uh, it's got like a, a binding around the neck. I suppose that's just like a sort of plastic binding. Plastic nut there. Um, imagine headstock really does look good though. Quite impressed with that. And it's got the three ply, actually, it's got a four ply torx pit guard. Is that even five? I think it's four ply. Yeah, four ply towards pit guard. Looks like it's got a massive block in the back of it there. So that should help with uh, the way it resonates. But yeah, nice looking guitar. <laughs> Action looks pretty low. Neck looks nice and straight. So no, a couple of little sharp frets at the bottom there, just a little bit, nothing 
at the norm. No sprouting, so that's a good sign. Yeah, a couple of rough, rough frets down this end, so I'll need a little sending down. So, let's tune it up and plug it in, just give it a quick whirl, see what it sounds like. Okay, right, so I've got it all sort of tuned up now. Um, it didn't really need a setup to be honest, I just uh, adjusted a couple of the saddles, so straight out of the box, it's good to go. They seem like a decent decent set of strings. Um, I've been using the wiggle stick, um, it seems to be holding tune well, so um, I'm not going to use the ATN5 for this clean demonstration, I'm just going to go neck, middle and bridge position, so this is the neck with a bit of clean. <laughs> Again, I'm not using the ATM5 circuit, so this is just the neck pickup. <laughs>
this is the middle position. <laughs> Right, so this is the bridge position on its own. Right, so I'll just quickly run you through the um, ATM5, so uh, let me just check my computer on Revelations page, so obviously number one is disengaged, number two is supposed to be like a surf sound. <laughs> Especially like a country rock. Uh, number four is the blues rock. And then number five is the jazz. System there with the big block in the back there, but yeah, works really well and it stays pretty much in tune. So, obviously, these are new strings so they might need a little bit of bedding in. But right, so that was in Revelation RVJT um, in sort of this metallic purple colour, uh, it's called the Vib Vibrant Purple. Um, again, what a guitar, absolutely amazed by this. I paid £206.99, including free delivery from Allegro Music. They're 10% off, uh, brand new. So, yeah, it's got a nice weight to the body. It's a Kume wood, never heard of that before, but it feels like a good quality, sort of weighty body. Yeah, it's got the four ply pickguard, tortoise shell, um, two amazing pickups. Um, end whistle ones. Um, again this five way sort of circuitry I probably wouldn't use it. I'll just leave it switched off and just use the, the old fashioned neck middle bridge um, basic volume tone control 
really good tremolo system on this. Um, it's like a sort of strap, but it's really holds its tune and it's, it's got a nice feel to it. It's got a nice massive weighty block in there, which resonates really well. Um, the neck, again, totally amazing. Rosewood fingerboard, it's even got binding, perloid block inlays, maple neck, uh, 22 frets. You've got that matching uh, headstock there, which looks pretty stunning. Um, and I do like these vintage tuners, they really are sort of good quality. They've got a nice tight feel to them. I've had no problems so far with it staying in tune. Um, again, just all round general build, sounds amazing. Uh, middle neck or just a bridge on its own. Um, yeah, really am stunned. The only thing I probably would do is I may change out them saddles because the screws don't quite go through straight. They sort of sit at a little bit of an angle. But that's only being ultra critical. Um, again, for that price, absolutely amazing guitar. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, these are sort of an English company, so I'm not sure if you can get them around the world, I know they're made in China, so yeah, in England they, they do various different models, um, every sort of guitar you can think of, but they even do like a 12 string one of these, which I wouldn't mind trying out, but um, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below, please uh, like the, the video, subscribe to my channel, and thank you very much for watching.